this is a, a bit different from the previous example. So this example two here, instead of calculating numbers, we're going to derive this relationship here. So between gamma saturated water content, GS and unit weight of water. The way to approach this is you're basically given water content, specific gravity, and unit weight of water. And then we're going to find gamma saturated. So I'm going to use this example to illustrate you can derive all these complicated relationships or equations in your textbook using phase diagram and the basic definitions. You don't have to memorize all these uh, very complex equations, just six base definitions in the phase diagram. And for this example, uh, this is a saturated soil. So we're going to draw the phase diagram first. In this phase diagram, we have two phases. So just solids and water. And again, we have the weight side and volume side. For this example, so the starting point, so we're given water content GS and um, gamma W, and we're looking for a saturated unit weight. So everything here is given in terms of ratio. So remember one of the uh, key points I listed at the beginning of today's lecture is that if everything is given in terms of ratios, you can safely assume the volume. For this example, I'm going to assume Vs is one. So I'm going to assume volume of the solid is one, and then let's complete the phase diagram starting from this. If we know the volume of solids is one, so the first I'm going to solve for the weight of solids. So this is similar to the previous example. And the linkage is that specific gravity definition. So specific gravity, again, unit weight of solids over unit weight of water. And this is weight of solids over volume solids, then unit weight of water. And then you can solve for the weight of solids, which is GS, Vs, and gamma W. And Vs is one by our assumption. So weight of solids is simply Gs times gamma W. And the next I know I'm going to solve for is the weight of water because we know the moisture content. So this W is given. Moisture content is weight of water over weight of solids from which we can solve for weight of water. And this weight of solids, WS, we just solved it. So that's moisture content times GS times gamma water. So we completed the weight side. Then the only unknown left is the volume of water. So this volume water here, we're going to solve this using unit weight of water. Unit weight of water by definition, weight of water over volume of water. So the volume water, weight of water over unit weight of water. And if you substitute this weight of water, this is just the moisture content times GS. So now we have this phase diagram completed, then that gamma saturated, that's one of the six basic definitions. Gamma saturated by definition, total weight over total volume. And we just need to sum everything from this phase diagram. So
And if you factor out GS and gamma water, so that's the expression you're looking for. So that's one plus moisture content, W. So that's what we are looking for. That's a relationship between these quantities and saturated unit weight. Again, just as the previous one, really the key is this phase diagram here. So that's uh, the key in solving any weight volume relationship is to complete this phase diagram, then use those six basic definitions.